Very interesting question. The American Foreign Service Association, which is the professional uh, association of foreign service professionals and also uh, the union to which uh, foreign service officers belong, and represents them in labor management negotiations. They took a survey of uh, uh, other foreign services. They looked at, uh, well, let's see, the UK, France, Germany, Canada, China, India, Mexico, and Brazil. And uh, they found that the U.S. service is unique in a number of ways. Uh, I think most importantly, uh, the U.S. service is unique in hiring. Uh, the U.S. has uh, does not require its entering officers to have uh, any particular kind of credential. All the other services require entrants to have completed a, a, a degree in international affairs or political science or economics or some other area of relevance to the service. The U.S. has uh, no such requirement. Other countries require their entering officers to have a command of at least one foreign language. The U.S. service has no such requirement. U.S. service does have, uh, again uniquely, uh, an extraordinary program of language training, uh, not only in, uh, in, in critical languages that are in short supply, like, like Arabic and Chinese and Korean and Urdu, but uh, also in, in world languages like uh, Russian or French or Spanish. In fact, they teach about 80 languages, and they teach them well. That's uh, really uniquely uh, a unique feature of the U.S. service. The U.S. has the biggest service. It's in the most countries, has the most posts. And so the U.S. has opportunities that other countries don't have to make its officers specialize in certain areas. Our personnel system divides the Foreign Service into, into several cones. There are political officers, economic officers, management officers, consular officers, and public diplomacy officers. And people in those specialties or cones stay largely in those areas throughout a career. No other service has, uh, has anything remotely like that. Uh, some other minutes, some other countries, Brazil in particular, but not only Brazil, work hard at placing foreign service officers in other ministries to run their international departments. And this builds important links uh, and probably increases the bureaucrat bureaucratic clout of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The U.S. doesn't do that and uh, may suffer accordingly. Uh, I would say that other diplomatic services have a very high regard for the quality of the work done by the U.S. and this, this came to light after the WikiLeaks affair when so many U.S. diplomatic cables were exposed to public view. Uh, one diplomat from the European Union read a number of uh, classified U.S. cables and wrote, he said, ah, he said, compared to this, our reports are crap. The U.S. U.S. reports have, they have analysis, they have uh, information, they show a quality of understanding and, and a quality of style that's almost literary. They set, set the benchmark. Nice to hear. It's a tough way to, to, to earn that kind of praise, but uh, it was nice to hear.